Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, hockey fans of all ages, this is AZ Afarina, home of the Brockton Boxers, and today we've had a couple of matchups on different fields the last couple of days with the Bridgewater Random Trojans. Today, it's on the ice. The four, eight, and one Bridgewater Random Trojans, the five, six, and one Brockton Boxers. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action high above the ice on a beautiful Saturday afternoon here in Brockton. The Trojans wearing their away red jerseys with blue stripes and blue trim, uh, white trim, excuse me, around the blue lettering. The Boxers back to their home whites, their regular home whites with red trim around the black numbers. Brockton coming off a five to one loss against the Weymouth Wildcats. And the Trojans coming off a loss as well. We are underway starting goaltenders for Brockton. No surprise, it is Nathan Petty. And for the Trojans, it is number 30, Connor Harkins. This is number 12 for the Trojans, Brian Dale, the freshman defenseman. Brucer's shot deflected wide. And now it is Blake Thorne, the senior captain of the Trojans. Someone's lost a glove. The glove belonging to Jalen Bridges, who's only skating with one mid on. Petty stopping it on the warning track. Now Zach Sylvia. Sylvia, the team leader in points with 20 and a shot from the slot. Blocker saved by Petty, he lost the rebound. Didn't know where it went, it went high off of the glass and Aiden can't catch up with it and he goes to the bench for a change. Icing is waved off as the errant glove still on the ice. The player's just sliding it away from action. El Shami around the boards for Justin Crookshank. A defensive change pairings wise is Crookshank and Al Birmingham, Sylvia. Zach Sylvia is paired with a combination of Peyton Sylvia and one of the two other defensemen on the roster, Birmingham and Crookshank. Two minutes into the first period, slap shot from the point, blocked away by a Trojan leg in front. Now BR takes over. This is Nick Landry. Off the boards and he will come to the boxers bench for a change. Zach Sylvia out on the ice now with Crookshank and Palermo. And ben Martin joining the boxers on the ice as well. Sylvia tees one up, stick save by Harkins, and he's gonna cover for the faceoff. Little shoving match in front of the Trojans net. Brockton's going to send out eight and Peyton Sylvia Bridges, along with Seamus Sheehan on defense. It's Brockton going with four forwards here. Sheehan is a natural forward, even though he's lining up at the left point. Bridges off the boards for Sylvia. Sylvia lays the shoulder into Nick Jope. Now Bridges in with speed. Out to Sheehan, back down low for Peyton Sylvia now. Aiden behind the net, loose in the slot. Now Sheehan tees one up. Blocked away by the Trojans in front and now BR on a rush. This one popped up, Zach Sylvia, good awareness to grab this one from the slot. And now out into the neutral zone for the boxers. Sylvia skating in and around Trojans, creating spaces, backhanded pass for Peyton Sylvia out in front, doesn't connect. And BR clears out into the neutral zone. Six 
Sylvia, the first double digit goal scorer for the Boxers. He's got 10 on the year to go with nine assists. And the team lead in scoring is Frank Aiden towards the net. Loose, Aiden comes away with it, but now BR able to take it out. One of the Trojans lost their footing. The arms stay down. Crookshank behind the Boxers net, around the boards. BR able to keep it in. And the shot sliding wide of Nathan Petty. And Birmingham goes into the boards. This one hitting the protective netting. More on the Boxers scoring race. Zach Sylvia, 19 points, that's 10 goals, nine assists. Close behind him, 18 points for Frank Aiden, eight goals and 10 assists. These guys trading blows, throwing haymakers at each other. This one off the pad of Petty to the half boards. But these two guys are answering each other game by game. Sylvia took the lead early to start one of the previous games, Aiden answered with a hat trick. The same happened the following game, but the other way around. As Petty makes a glove save and holds on for the faceoff. Five minutes into this first period, we are scoreless between the Trojans and the Boxers. Busy week for Brockton Community Access Sports. This one wrapping up a Bridgewater Raynham Trojans Opponent heavy week as the Trojans lady basketball team came to Staff Gymnasium last night, defeated the Boxers 60 to 49. Very sloppy game. 40, that's 4 0 fouls called between the two teams in that one. And the Boxers men's team went down to Bridgewater Arenum and defeated the Trojans there to stay undefeated 13-0 on the year. A three-point victory for the Trojans as Petty's gonna cover this one up. It was fluttering around and Sylvia lost control of it. Zach Sylvia goes to his sophomore goaltender and says, yeah, I didn't really have control of it. That's a, it's a good cover up, we'll win the face off for you. Peter Sylvia to take the face off. He loses it, a shot goes wide off of the stick of Jake Pellant. And now the boxers and Ben Martin. Martin goes hard into a Trojan into the boards. Now Sylvia at the point, a shot deflected off a stick just wide. And the Trojans now in a foot race, they could have a three on one. This is Pellant. Has it taken away by Zach Sylvia. Sylvia to Palermo, a shot. This one bouncing around off a couple of bodies and now a pad save by Petty. Sylvia picks up the rebound after Petty couldn't reach it. And the boxers back out into the neutral zone. Sylvia up to Bridges who sends it in. Sylvia to the bench replaced by Crookshank. 8-12 left in the first uh, first period, excuse me. The boxers, the majority of the zone time, but both teams pretty even as far as scoring opportunities go. One taken by Wilson Smith, the senior defenseman. Taken back by Frank Ayton. A shot and a pad saved by Harkins. The rebound to the half boards. Halfway through the first period, still scoreless between the Trojans and the Boxers. Competitive one shaping up here at Asiaf. One tipped in by Ayton. He's gonna come to the bench for a change. It'll be the El Shami line for the boxers. It's this one ramps up high off a stick into the protective netting.
Well, that's an interesting one. The players behind the faceoff were told to back up, and then the other official decided to kick both players out of the faceoff circle and replace them with the wingers. So Petty made a blocker save into the protected netting. Dante, uh, excuse me, Peter Sylvia losing his face off. Puck battle on the sideboards. Pad save, Petty, Landry backhanding the rebound into one of the skates of the Trojans. Brockton now with numbers, it's three on two. Out to Birmingham, he tees one up. And now the boxers, if Crookshank played it right, would have had an opportunity to really set up some offense. Crookshank whiffed on the dumping attempt. Trading jabs in the neutral on this one all the way in. Crookshank will take it for Broughton. One getting more physical as the moments go by. And we're going to have a penalty called here. And it's going to go against number 19, Eddie Perry of the Trojans. Perry's not happy that he was called for it. The box is on their first power play opportunity of the game. Perry in the box for the next two minutes. Bridges able to get around a couple of Trojans. Elbowing is, there's a huge hit laid down. Shaken up a little bit as the assistant captain of the boxers. That's Jalen Bridges. He's in visible pain as he gets to the boxers bench. One twenty nine on the power play for the boxers. Zach Sylvia. Now eight into Sylvia. Sylvia from the point. Blocker safe Harkins. Rockton able to regain possession and trying to set it up once again. Sylvia at the blue line. This one deflected to the end boards. The ref made a motion for offsides, didn't blow the whistle. Everything kind of stopped and froze for a minute. BR able to get it out. Brockton taking it right back, and now BR right back. It's number 17, Fully Ryan, and his shot saved by Petty, who covers for the faceoff. 48 seconds to go on the penalty to Perry. Five minutes to go in the first period, still scoreless. Brockton on a power play for the next 45 seconds. Bridges deflecting it towards the BR net. Brockton able to keep it in. Bridges over to Peyton Sylvia. Sylvia thinking about sending it out to Zach Sylvia. Instead, BR takes it away and sends it all the way down the river. Now Zach Sylvia stopping to get away from the threatening Trojan. Peyton can't handle the pass. And we are turning it over in their own zone, now deflected off of the back of one of the Trojans. Sylvia keeping it in, back to even strength. This one deflected wide, but Frank Ayton grabs it for the boxers. Sylvia trying to chase this one down, it's gonna go for an icing, blown dead. Maybe a second and a half too early. Pierre had a real chance at getting up, but the refs apparently thought that Sylvia could have been in a 
pretty dangerous situation if they got closer to the end boards. Quick save by Harkins. And another face off. Kirkshank teeing one up, this one well wide. Birmingham grabbing it for the boxers down to El Shami. Now Peter Sylvia fighting for it. It's gonna be picked up by the Trojans in the corner. And BR out, but turning it over to Al Birmingham. Birmingham now in with speed. He launches a shot, stick save Harkins to the end boards. Nathan El Shami out to the blue line for Crookshank. He launches one that hits a body out in front. And the Trojans take over and bring it out into the Brockton zone. Crookshank batting it out. BR is going to tag up. They do. Now Birmingham on the warning track around the boards for Nathan L. Shami. He gets it over to Landry. Nick Landry's shot. This one off of one of the Trojans sticks to the half boards. Spitting was Crookshank. Brockton able to keep it in the Trojan zone. So a lot more stick checking in this game than in games past, and we're gonna have a penalty called here. Nathan El Shami headed to the box. going to be tripping against El Shami. So BR on their first power play of the game. Two minutes for El Shami. Two and a half to go in the first period. Still scoreless. Good coaching by Chris Cunningham saying, you just took a penalty in the offensive zone. What are you doing, guys? This one off of Petty's glove on the apron and able to clear out. Perry goes into the boards hard. Trojans trying to set up their power play attack. This is Blake Thorne. Thorn shot and a goal for the Trojans. I think it was tipped by Eddie Perry off the initial shot from Thorn and BR's on the board. 152 to go in the first period. One twenty-two was left on the penalty to El Shami. Gonna give the goal to Blake Thorne unassisted. It was deflected out in front of, Pe of Petty when changed directions noticeably. Minute and a half to go in the first period. It's 1 0 Trojans on top of the boxers. Now Peyton Sylvia tipping this one out into the neutral zone where it is taken by Alec Watson. Zach Sylvia now for the boxers. Full head of steam loses the puck. The Trojans back the other way. Pat save Petty and he covers for the faceoff. 57.4 in the first period. Peter Sylvia losing the face off and Watson thought about the shot before he had the puck. Now it's Kirkshank, 45 seconds left as Kirkshank lays a hit on Perry who goes skittering down to the ice. Slap shot, this one high and wide. A headhunter. 
Landry puts the hit on to create separation between a Trojan and the puck. This one noticeably, noticeably picking up in physicality. This one sent all the way down the ice, no icing. 10 seconds left in the period, Brockton's where it wants to be. And the Trojans deflect the shot and gain possession. Now five seconds to go. Buzzer sounds, and the first period has come to an end. Only one goal in that period. It goes to Blake Thorne on the power play that BR had after Nathan El Shami took a tripping call in the boxers' offensive zone. That's where we stand after the first period. 1-0, Trojans over the boxers. We're going to step aside, take a short break, and bring you second period action right after this. It's not always easy being a dad. Do you have panda asthma too? Does that run in the family? This is the home of the most priceless kung fu artifacts. But when you make an effort. Dad, we're not supposed to touch anything. Oh, sorry. Go along, son. It's always worth it. Whoa, master. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. I am gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Call 877-4DAD411 or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. Look at you. You're at the top of your game. At work or at play, you're unstoppable. Nothing can throw you off track. Oh, hey, she's cute. Nice going, man. Things are going great for you. You've earned a night out. Good drinks, good friends. Yeah, we can go ahead and call this a good night. Wait, is that your car? Uh-oh, not smart. Yeah, I saw that coming. Say goodbye to her. Ouch, that'll hurt your bank account. You're looking at around 10 grand in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. I hope you like eating frozen dinners alone. Let's try this again. Smart move. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Your daughter is having trouble learning French. Do you A, hire a tutor? Bonjour. B, enforce a French only rule at home or C, watch some foreign films. When it comes to parenting, there are no perfect answers, but that's okay, because you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Teens in foster care will love you just the same. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, hockey fans of all ages, welcome back into AZ Afrina for second period action between the Bridgewater Random Trojans and your Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing you all the action high above the ice here at Brockton High School. It's 1-0 Trojans over the Boxers coming into this second period. The lone goal scored by Blake Thorne on the power play at the end of the first period. There's about a minute and a half left when he scored that goal. The Boxers, however, have had their fair share of opportunities this game. Very physical, very chippy, and increasingly so through that first period. Two goaltenders have been strong both Nathan Petty and Connor Harkins. Just a couple of boxers go head over heels. Slap shot, blocker save by Petty. And now Frank Ayton launches one blocker save, Harkins. Justin Crookshank for the boxers. Overshoots the co-captain, Frank Ayton. Now the Trojans with an opportunity, trying to set it up. Lost the puck in Crookshank, trying to get it to Sylvia. The Trojans able to recover at least momentarily. And now BR tags up to get on sides. El Shami, who took the penalty that led to the only goal. Fighting for it, doing some nice stick work to keep the puck. He loses an edge. 
One of those non-contact just lost an edge, flew a tire on the half boards as Landry goes down. Now oh, she may be spinning around looking for Landry. Landry unable to get a clean shot off, blocked away by number 18, Ben Camito. And now a shot sticks in by Harkins. The boxers coming out of the locker room with a full head of steam to start this second period, trying to get the equalizer. And Landry was thinking hip check. He went in with some confidence and it leads to a two on one for the Chargers the other way. They're going to dump and change. as another blown edge. What is going on on the warning track on both sides of the ice? That was, I want to circle back to the hip check attempt by Landry. That was amazing. The level of confidence going in. Sicing's waved off here. Hip check from the 1970s, one of my favorite types of physicality in this sport of hockey. It's pretty much come out of the game, especially at the pro level. You know, the last one to really employ the tactic is former Bruin, current New York Islander, Johnny Boychuk. But how amazing would it have been if Landry pulled that off and sent one of the Trojans head over heels? Would have been something for the highlight reel. Now the Trojans setting up in the boxes. Oh, and in a goal! This one ping-ponging around off a couple of Trojans, and I think the last Trojan to touch it was Danny Pine, the senior forward. If that is indeed the case, it'll be his fourth goal on the year. And the boxers four minutes into the second period are in a 2-0 hole. <whistles> Wait for official scoring on that one. As we are ices the puck. Official scoring has come in. It is indeed Danny Pine with his fourth goal of the year. Assisted by Wilson Smith. And the Chargers get another one here. I think number three got this one. That would be Owen McCoy. It's 3-0 Trojans, 10-41 in the second. And the Boxers came out with so much momentum to start the second period. Zach Sylvia leading the charge for the Boxers. Now Perry around the boards. Sylvia grabbing it, gaining clean possession into the Trojans zone. Palermo in the slot, didn't fire it off soon enough. Now Peyton Sylvia with it, sending it out for Peter Sylvia, fresh off as this is gonna be a delayed penalty, empty net for the Boxers. BR touches up, and the Boxers will go on their second power play. It's Alec Watson headed to the box. Boxers gonna get one on this power play. 
Aiden able to win the face off to Bridges who loses it. And now Aiden with a very nice punch to keep it in. Hooking the call on Watson, Brockton setting up their power play unit. Sylvia on the blue line. Down to Bridges on the backhand, out to Sylvia. Blake Thorne's second goal is, the official scoring has come in. It's Blake Thorne assisted by Owen McCoy and Danny Pine. Peyton Sylvia behind the Trojans net. Whiffed on the centering pass and the Trojans take over and send it into the protective netting. If this were the NHL, that would be a two minute minor penalty for a delay of game. One oh five to go on the Boxers power play, 9.08 in the second period. Now BR able to clear it all the way down the river. Petty giving it to Zach Sylvia who's hooked up or tripped up. The arms stay down. Boxers in, Frank Aiden. Strong on the stick to maintain possession of the puck. Out to the blue line for Sylvia. Sylvia launches one blocked away by the stick of Wilson Smith who takes it out for the Trojans and sends it behind Nathan Petty, 30 seconds to go on the boxer power play. And Peyton Sylvia, clean possession into the Trojans zone. Aiden skates a stick, didn't connect, and Smith sends it into the stick of Zach Sylvia, and it's gonna be offsides against the Trojans, who could have had a two on one. Nine seconds to go on the boxer power play, 8-11 in the period. Boxers winning the face off. Landry had his stick held up. Tangle of bodies at center ice. Nobody can get clean possession. An attempted shot blocked away. And now the boxers three on two. Landry chipping it as he takes a stick across the neck. No call. Landry takes the hit to move the puck to Peter Sylvia. And now El Shami trying to sweep it. Unsuccessful in that effort, the Trojans take over, but Zach Sylvia able to keep it in. Now Sylvia gloves it down towards the net. It's backhanded shot high and wide. And the Trojans able to recover as we've hit the halfway point of the second period. It's three to nothing, Trojans over the boxers. A disastrous two minutes of play, about four minutes into the second period which BR scored a couple of goals. And there's a third in the second period for the Trojans. Six fifty to go and it's a 4 0 lead for the Trojans. And the boxes are gonna change out goaltenders. It's going to be Ryan Spano in for Nathan Petty. Petty is angry on the boxer bench. Jake Pellin credited with the goal, assisted by Kless Ryan. Bono has seen 
limited action. He's played about a game and a half so far this year. He's allowed eight goals on 24 shots. It's good for a 6-6-7 save percentage. And a 5-22 goals against average. Frank Aiden into the boxer zone. Five forty left in the second period, and the Chargers get another one. This is going to be. Cole Brusso, the sophomore, his first goal on the year. Brockton's gonna call a timeout, down five nothing, four goals scored by the Trojans in the first 10 minutes of the second period, 5.34 to go in the second period. And Brockton, has already replaced the goaltenders and now calling a timeout. We'll take a two. We'll be back for the remaining 534 of the second period right after this. Probably sober. Yeah. But you're thinking about taking the back roads home just in case. If you're probably sober, then why would you do that? Good choice. Probably okay isn't okay. If you see a warning sign, stop and call a cab, a car, or a friend. That's a full glass of wine. I'll be chatting you later. Green. <laughs> Red hat. Oops. <laughs> Red shirt. Blue shirt. Yellow shirt. Oops. <laughs> Yellow pants. Red pants. Green pants. <gasps> Oops. <laughs> Oh, we are back. It's 5 0 Trojans over the Boxers. Boxers just called a timeout after the Trojans have scored four goals in the last 10 minutes. Really, four goals in the last six minutes. They scored the first about four minutes into the second period. And a very fired up coach, Chris Cunningham, as Jalen Bridges layers the boom to get a rise out of the Boxer bench. The last Trojans goal credited to Colt Brusso, assisted by Patrick Rennie. Aiden shot, stick save by Harkins. He covers his, his shoving match in the crease. Peter Sylvia, Nick Landry, and Nathan El Shami. Joined on the ice by Al Birmingham and Zach Sylvia. Sylvia winning the faceoff to El Shami. The Trojans take over, and now it's a three on two for the Trojans. A shot saved by Spano. The rebound is loose, and Spano diving on it, and the whistles blow.
quick shot, quick save by Spano. Who's now two of three. Three of four. Boxers trying to get back to 500. They come in at 5 6 and 1 after that blow to Weymouth. The Trojans are 4 8 and 1, looking to start evening out their record as this one popped high by El Shami. Landry tipping it to El Shami. Boxers get a tag up as Eddie Perry brings it up to the neutral zone for BR. This one backhanded in. The boxers change out. Bridges, Eaton, and Peyton Sylvia. And Sylvia comes up with the puck, but the Trojans take it right back. This one is going to not go for icing. Peyton Sylvia, Aiden, clean possession behind the net. This one ping ponging off a stick as dragged down. No call for Peyton Sylvia. Now Peyton with it. He's cross checked from behind again. No call. This one off of the mask of Harkins and the Trojans to the half boards. Brockton playing with some gusto after that timeout. Bridges catching it cleanly in the glove, putting it down on the ice and gaining clean possession. Jalen Bridges backhanding it around for Frank Eaton. Now off the ref, he took it off of the back of the leg. Birmingham can't keep it in. And this is Jake Pellin, the latest goal scorer. Pad saved by Spano and Eight and four, Peyton Sylvia, the boxers could have a semi break here. Peyton Sylvia trying to leave it behind for Aiton. And the boxers end up not getting a shot on net. And now stick save Harkins. Peter Sylvia on the rebound attempt blocked away by the stick of Hill Nathan. Peyton back in. His shot, glove save Harkins, and he's going to hold with 155 to go in the second. It's 5 nothing Trojans, but the Boxers playing with some gusto since that timeout with about five and a half minutes to go in the second. This is Brandon Fernandez offsides. Icing waved off. Landry and El Shami trying to put some pressure on behind the Trojans net. Stick save Harkins on the dump in that went on net and the Trojans have it. 1.15 to go in the second period. Brockton trying to get on the board. Take some momentum into the break. Nathan goes down. Good hit by Peter Sylvia. One minute to go in the second period. Justin Crookshank in with a full head of steam across to Zach Sylvia. Sylvia skating in and out of Trojans towards the net. Backhanded shot. Pad save Harkins. And Sylvia picks it up. As Harkins lost it, now Peyton Sylvia behind the goal line sticked away, but Peyton gets it right back, a shot, and a save from the chest of Harkins. As Peyton hit the deck, 40.3, the Boxers are charging. And the Trojans send out five fresh skaters to finish the period. Brockton sticking with Aiton, Bridges, Peyton. 
Crookshank and Zach Silvia. Crookshank taking it away, uh, back out into the neutral zone for the Trojans, 30 seconds to go in the period. Brockton deflecting it multiple times back out it into the neutral zone. And now coming away with it is Zach Sylvia. His shot and a stick save off the knob of the stick for Harkins. Brockton getting a scoring opportunity with about eight seconds to go in the period. Now three, two, and one. The last second shot off the glove of Harkins. And he lost control of the rebound that ended up going to the corner. The buzzer sounds. Brockton again playing with some gusto since that timeout with five and a half minutes to go but they find themselves down five to nothing at the end of the second period. The Trojans up again, five nothing over the boxers at the end of two. We're gonna step aside, take a short break and bring you third period action right after this. Hey Gabby, how you doing? How was the play date and sleepover? Dad, it was great. Awesome, okay, I'm on my way. Hey guys, what are you doing? We're going swimming! We're going biking! Yeah! I'll see you in a little bit, guys. I love you. Hi babe, how was school today? Hi Dad. Great. Okay, honey, I'll be home soon. Remember, you're never too far away from your kids to be a dad. Reach out and take a second to check in because sometimes the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Good morning. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. That's a major key. Another one. Another. Mogul talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused. Fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise. Louise. Can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchool.com. Six children in the U.S. struggle with hunger. Help end childhood hunger near you. Learn how at feedingamerica.org. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, hockey fans of all ages, welcome back into AZ Off Arena for third period action between the Bridgewater Random Trojans and your Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Matt Dog, Matt Nelson, bringing you all the action high above the ice here at Brockton High School to score five nothing in favor of the Trojans. Four goals put up in about six minutes in the second period for the Trojans. And Coach Chris Cunningham called a timeout that really was a turning point even though the boxers were unable to score. And they finished the last five and a half of the second period with a lot of, a lot of air in their lungs. Very fast paced, a lot of gusto for the boxers to end that second period. Your goal scorers for the Trojans, Blake Thorne with two, Danny Pine with one, Jake Pelland with one, and Cole Brusso with one. The boxers have yet to get on the board. Brockton coming in at five, six, and one. Sylvia able to recover, and the boxers could catch the Trojans in the change. They instead opt to dump in and change out all five skaters, save for Zach Sylvia. The Trojans coming in at 4 8 and 1, looking to level off. They are 2 and 0 in the old Colony Division. As 
two on one, excellent. Going down to one knee for Zach Sylvia as it found his right shin. And Sylvia comes to the bench for a quick breather. Al yeah, Birmingham replaces him. El Shami over to Nick Landry. Landry's had a phenomenal game. And now Peter Sylvia into the Trojan zone. His shot, easy glove save for Connor Harkins, and he covers for the faceoff. The Brockton's got a week off before the next game right here at AZ Arena next Saturday. Four o'clock puck drop in that one. We will have it for you on Brockton Community Access. A pile up, Brendan Palermo winds up on his backside. The Trojans launch a shot into the skate of Zach's, uh, excuse me, Justin Crookshank. Now Crookshank off the boards for Birmingham. Birmingham trying to get it to Ben Martin. Icing waved off and it's a foot race. It is won by the Trojans. But Crookshank now tees one up. Blocked away by a Trojan body into the neutral zone. Now Al Birmingham back hitting around, didn't get enough mustard on it. The Trojans, this one's gonna go into the protective netting. And it popped straight up. 12 minutes to go in the third period, five nothing Trojans. The boxers have swung the momentum in the last 10 minutes of game time, including the last five and a half to end the second period. Frank Ayton, in getting around the diving poke check, backhanded pass, doesn't connect with a boxer in the slot, and now Birmingham recovers in the neutral zone, up for Aiton. Oh, excuse me, it's Jalen Bridges down low. And Birmingham able to keep it in, up to Peyton Sylvia. Nice pass forward to the goal line, had no boxer on the receiving end. Now Brockton's gonna recover, it's gonna be a breakaway for the Trojans, number 22 shot, saved by Spano, and he clutches the pillows together for the faceoff. That opportunity coming from Sam Hoxis, the freshman forward. Zach Sylvia back on the ice, full head of steam. And he takes a shoulder to the side of his head to break up his momentum into the Trojan zone. Sylvia around for Peter Sylvia. Peter now leaving it for Nathan El Shami. El Shami stick handling, and the Trojans take it away. Peter Kent grab it out of the boxer's zone. Now El Shami up to Peter Sylvia. We're gonna have a penalty against the Trojans. As El Shami is skating a little gingerly, it's gonna be a trip against number 11 of BR, Nick Joke, the sophomore forward. Boxers on what some may consider an essential power play if they have any hope of coming back from five down with 10 minutes to go. Uh, Danny Pine in the box for tripping. The boxers have to score on this one and not a crisp pass for Frank Aiton, and the Trojans have it wasting valuable seconds off the clock, but Aiton able to jump at the blue line, keep it in before BR poked it out. Now Zach Sylvia bobbing and weaving into the high slot. His shot zings high off the glass. 
115 to go on the power play, nine and a half to go in the third period. Boxers take it back, Jalen Bridges spinning with it. Out to Aiton. Aiden to Peyton Sylvia, now over to Zach, but it's intercepted by the Trojans. And Zach Sylvia recovering in the neutral zone. Sylvia gets around a diving shot, a shot and a goal, Zach Sylvia unassisted. On the power play, 9-10 to go in the third period. Sylvia found some open space on the left wing. Made no mistake going top shelf over the glove of Connor Harkins. A lengthy stoppage before the faceoff. Not sure what happened there. 9.07 to go in the third period. It's five to one. Don't call it a comeback. Zach Sylvia unassisted his 11th goal on the year. Spano makes a pad save, rebound to the end boards. Peter Sylvia up for Landry who lays the body into number 24 of the Trojans. That's Ryan Concanon. Now Crookshank around the board looking for Landry. No boxer on the receiving end. The Trojans able to keep it in and try to reset up their offense. Now Con Cannon over to number four. His shot is deflected away from Spano. That was Blake Thorne looking for the hat trick. Now Thorne in the slot. His shot and it pops up wide of the net. Landry off the boards. El Shami. The opposite way off a Trojan to Justin Crookshank. Racing waved off. The boxes change out. Aiden, Peyton, Sylvia, and Bridges on the ice. Along with Birmingham and Crookshank. Trojans clean entry, shot from the faceoff dot for number 11, Nick Jope. That goes wide now, Peyton Sylvia in on a breakaway. Peyton Sylvia stopping and starting, and what a save by Harkins. You talk about an old school save right there. Sticking the pillows up in the air, putting the stick on the ice and making the save. And the net came off the moorings as a couple of Trojans went sliding into it and Peyton Sylvia is frustrated that he didn't hesitate enough to put that one in the net. 7.21 to go in the third period. It's 5-1 Trojans. BR winning the faceoff, but a lame duck pass ends up on the stick of Zach Sylvia, who sends it into the Trojan zone now. Peyton behind the net. Around for Eaton, back to Peyton. Trojans take it out into the neutral zone. Sylvia spinning with it, his pass incomplete. It's taken by Owen McCoy for the Trojans. Now Zach Sylvia tripping up on Cannon. Peyton out into the neutral zone. Sylvia with possession, a shot, and a save by Harkin. Zach Sylvia trying to put the boxers on his back right now with six and a half to go in the third period. Boxers Ironman with 11 goals on the year. That was his 20th point. The lone boxer's goal, 20th point on the year for Zach Sylvia. Peter Sylvia kicked out. Nathan El Shami will take the draw for the boxers. They're able to win it to Landry off the glass. And Kirkshank can't keep it on the line.
Trojans with it in the slot. Sent out to the blue line, slap shot deflected by Peter Sylvia. And the shot does not get to the crease. Six minutes to go in the third period. It's 5-1 Trojans. Zach Sylvia with it now for Brockton. This one deflected out into the neutral zone where it is taken by Foley Ryan. Zach chasing it down on the half boards far side. Trojans are gonna be offside, so they're gonna tag up Crookshank. Landers pass off the mark, Sylvia to the bench replaced by Birmingham. Birmingham with a nice move to create separation from Jope and the puck sent all the way down. It's icing waved off here. The Trojans have it behind their own net. Offsides against the Trojans. Stops the clock with 4.53 to go in the third period. Jack Sylvia into the Trojan zone. Someone's stick went flying. Now Spano pokes it off to Crookshank. A shot and a goal for the boxers. Out of nowhere, it trickled through the legs of Harkins. And Peyton Sylvia is going to be credited with this one. 4.18 to go in the third period. It's 5-2. The boxers slowly chip into the Trojans' lead. is Danny Pine, a shot, pad save by Spano. And the rebound slapped to the end boards. So Peyton Sylvia with the goal, the assists to Crookshank and Bridges. And as Bridges' 10th assist as Spano makes a good save off of his blocker into his glove. Shot off the referee's leg. The Trojans have it, now Zach Sylvia takes it. Sylvia with the first Brockton goal, looking to add to his 11 on the year. Ox is gonna create some space. There's Peter now behind the net. Elsamie comes in for backup. And a whistle of the puck has not moved, so it'll be a faceoff in the Trojans zone. 3.15 to go. Aiden Bridges, Crookshank, Peyton Sylvia, Zach Sylvia on the ice for the boxers. Uh, rather, instead of Zach Sylvia, it's Al Birmingham. Peyton taking it, his shot wide. Trojans into the Brockton zone. Tripped up was number 19, Eddie Perry. Birmingham now up to Peyton Sylvia. Peyton looking for Birmingham, spin around shot. Saved by Harkins and a stoppage. I think the puck was still loose in the creases. We have a pileup 
couple of bodies hit the ice with 2.43 to go in the third period. Refs trying to sort it out. Be a face off to the left of Connor Harkins. Peyton feathering it forward to the goal line for Bridges. The Trojans take over. Now Sylvia stepping up. Bridges can't keep up with it. And now the Trojans on a break. It's number 13 is shot through the legs of Spano. Oh, what a glove save as a penalty is upcoming. Who's headed to the box? It is Zach Sylvia. One would assume for a hook, there's 2.12 left in the game. Two minutes and a power play, and the boxer's best player is in the sin bin. Aiden trying to grab a short-handed goal here. Taken by Harkins. We're gonna go even strength there. Blake Thorne in the box for the remainder of the game. Four on four. And Blake Thorne with two of the five goals for the Trojans in the box for all the two seconds of this game. The eyes were on Spano charging to the net. And I thought to myself, why would he go to the bench and empty the net when you're down a man with two minutes to go? Down by three. Just because there was a delayed penalty on the Trojans. So the guys in the box account for three of the seven goals today. Payne Sylvia launching one. Bridges comes up with a loose puck. Now it's Aiton. And the Trojans come up with a puck and it's a breakaway. A shot and a goal top shelf for Alec Watson. Top corner stick side for Watson. And he's gonna have it unassisted. That digs the boxer's hole a little bit deeper. 6-2, a minute 20 to go. Down by four of the boxers. Wants it back into the boxer's zone. He is edged off by Justin Crookshank. Crookshank up for Aiden, a step ahead of it. Aiden comes up with the turnover, however, is Backhanded shot goes well wide, might have been a pass. Now Crookshank going down to one knee and the Trojans and Watson are gonna have another break. Watson's shot, blocker save, Spano. 40 seconds to go in this game. Bridges leaving it behind for Peyton Sylvia. Peyton turning on the Jets to breeze by a Trojan. And now he's edged off the puck. It's taken by Patrick Rennie. And out into the neutral zone. Now another, now it's a two on oh, a shot, pad safe, Spano, 20 seconds to go. And the Pox's defense has completely broken down. 14 seconds to go. The boxers now on a power play for the next 11 seconds. Five to go in the game. This one sent to the corner. The buzzer sounds, and it's a disappointing afternoon for the Boxers. Their final score in this one, 6-2. to two. The two goal scorers for the Boxers, Zach and Peyton Sylvia.
Payton's goal assisted by Crookshank and Bridges, the six goals. For the Trojans in no particular order, Blake Thorne with two, Danny Pine with one, Alec Watson, Jake Pelland, and Cole Brusso in no particular order. A handful of assists for the Trojans as well. The Boxers slide to five, seven, and one. The Trojans improve to five, eight, and one. Boxers back at it next week on Saturday, four o'clock puck drop right here at AZ Arena. They have a long week off and they've got plenty to work on after the performance today. Your final score, Bridgewater Arena, Trojans six, the Brockton Boxers two. For everyone here at Brockton Community Access, our cameraman, Mike the Postman Simmons. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.